Compared to the type of motor oil you use in your car, marine oil claims that it can do a lot better job. It claims that its additive package can prevent foaming, better anti-wear additives, a lot better shear stability, and can handle the high heat a lot better. So are you paying a lot more money for that marine oil just because of a certification, or are those claims actually true, and maybe we should be using marine oil in our cars instead? Well, let's get the testing underway and find out the truth about marine oil. We'll see which brand flows the best when the oil is extremely cold. Then we'll find out if marine oil resists foaming better than car oil. We'll see if the marine oil offers better protection against engine wear. We'll compare both oils to see which is the best at resisting thermal breakdown and evaporation. I paid an independent oil lab to provide us with a detailed report on the oil, and we'll go over that later in the video. Before we begin our first test, I need to send off the Honda Marine and the Penns oil to an oil testing lab. The oil lab will provide us with a lot of great information on the oil's anti-wear additive package, detergent, and dispersant content, as well as the oil's total base number or the oil's ability to resist becoming acidic over time. By the way, I always shake oil containers before sending off samples for testing since part of the oil additive package may actually fall out of suspension and settle at the bottom of the container. Honda Marine SAE 10W30 Honda Genuine Oil Meets all National Marine Manufacturers Association standards for FCW oil. Engine oils blended for marine use are different than those used in automobiles. Specially formulated with rust and corrosion inhibitors to protect engines in both freshwater and saltwater marine environments. We're going to test that. Sheer stable formula helps prevent viscosity breakdown in high load, high RPM conditions for superior viscosity retention. We're going to test that too. Contains anti-wear additives to provide better protection of bearings. Contains a superior anti-foaming package to reduce oil foaming during high RPM operation. The marine oil from Honda is made in USA from domestic and imported components. Penzo a Platinum Full Synthetic for complete protection and performance. SAE 10W30 made from natural gas, not crude. The base oil is crystal clear. We we add our unique high performance additives which gives Pennzoil its distinct amber color. Pennzoil has its own rating system and gives Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic 3 stars for unsurpassed wear protection, 3 stars for protection in extreme temperatures, meets or exceeds the requirements for ILSAC GF5, API SN+, API SN, and all previous categories. Honda Marine claims that it's designed for high load, high RPM which typically results in high oil temperature. So let's test how the Honda Marine oil stacks up against the Penns oil in our first test. We'll first measure out 200 grams of oil into each of the oil containers. Then we'll crank up the heat to around 420 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. I'll rotate the oil containers every 10 minutes just in case one burner is hotter than the other. I'll also monitor the temperature of both oils throughout the test just to make sure that they're very close to the same temperature during the entire test. Both oil containers will experience an equal amount of time on each burner. The Penns oil seems to be doing very well, but the Honda Marine oil appears to be putting off a lot more vapor compared to the Penns oil. So why this test? The NOAC Volatility Test is an American Society for Testing and Materials test which exposes oil to a lot more heat than this test to simulate engine operating conditions around the upper piston ring area of an engine. High quality engine oils resist evaporation and thermal breakdown. At the end of this test, we'll find out how much evaporation has occurred with each brand. Then we'll be using the cooked oil for additional testing to see which oil is the best. Okay, it's been right at two hours. I'm going to take the oil off the burner, and once it cools off, we'll weigh each container to see how much evaporative loss occurred with each brand. And the Penns oil started out at 410.9 grams, and it now weighs 407, which is a loss of 3.9 grams. The Honda Marine oil started out at 404.64 grams and now weighs 385.86, which is a loss of 18.78 grams. Definitely a huge win for Penn's oil. Honda Marine claims to have a superior anti-foaming package to reduce foaming during high RPM operation. So to simulate high RPM conditions, we'll be using a really simple test setup which includes a couple of quart jars along with some wire. I'll add approximately 10 ounces of oil into each container. The test will last right at five minutes. Foam is a collection of small bubbles. Unfortunately, the presence of air bubbles in oil can lead to excessive oxidation, cavitation, and the reduction of lubricating properties. It's been right at five minutes and the Han Marine oil definitely seems to have more air bubbles. Let's see which oil clears up the fastest. And the Penns oil did a lot better job of clearing up. As you can see, the Honda Marine oil still has some bubbles in it, and the Penns oil is just about completely cleared up. In the next test, we're going to use a hydrogen peroxide vinegar and salt mix to test the corrosion resistance of each one of these products. The metal has been both sanded as well as cleaned with brake parts cleaner. The Honda Marine oil claims to be specially formulated with rust and corrosion inhibitors to protect engines in both freshwater and saltwater marine environments. 
The oil's had a couple of minutes to do its job, so I'll go ahead and apply the hydrogen peroxide vinegar and salt mix, which is highly corrosive. You can see that the metal that's not protected by motor oil is quickly oxidizing. After just a couple of minutes, the Honda seems to have less oxidation compared to the pens oil. We'll check back in 24 hours after I apply the rusting agent several more times. We definitely want to compare cold oil flow performance for both the new as well as the cooked oil for each brand, and we'll do that near the end of the video. To ensure accurate test results, I'll go ahead and place the oil in a freezer that's set to 40 below zero. We'll give the oil 24 hours to cool down, and then we'll begin the test. In the next test, we'll be comparing the lubricity or film strength of each brand. We'll begin by adding 40 milliliters of oil that's been exposed to heat into each of the test cups. The test will last right at 10 minutes. The oil in the test containers has completely cooled off, so let's begin the first lubricity test and we'll find out which oil provides the best lubricating properties. After the test, we'll compare the size of the wear scars on each of the bearings to determine which oil provides the best film strength. Just like most lab tests, this lab test doesn't provide engine operating conditions perfectly, but it'll provide us with some great information. Penzo is on the left and the Honda Motor Oil is on the right. This is by far the closest race I've seen between two brands in a long time with the Honda Oil barely edging out the Penz Oil by a 3% smaller wear scar. I'm really looking forward to seeing the lab analysis results. Penz Oil has a very good base oil, so the Honda Marine Oil must have a really good additive package. When it comes to selecting a high quality motor oil, cold oil performance is a huge factor. An oil that flows easily when it's cold will begin lubricating moving parts of an engine sooner than an oil that doesn't flow very easily. Let's kick off the cold oil flow test and we'll see which oil flows when it's very cold. New Honda Marine in lane one, cooked Honda Marine lane two, cooked Penz Oil lane three, new Penz Oil lane four. And the Penz Oil in lane four is out of the gate first, but Honda Marine is in a close second. And the heat really had a huge impact on both of the cooked oils. And the cooked oil for Honda Marine is third out of the gate. And the new Penz Oil is extending its lead over the Honda Marine, but it's a team sport and both new and cooked oils have to cross the finish line first to win this event. And the cooked Penz Oil is finally out of the gate and it really needs to get a move on it. And the new Penz Oil is extending its lead over the new Honda Marine. Honda Marine and cooked Penz Oil are now even in a side-by-side -side race. And it all comes down to the cooked oils. And the cooked Penz Oil is beginning to pull away from the Honda Marine. And the new Penz Oil just crossed the finish line. And the cooked Penz Oil is trying to catch up to the new Honda Marine, but the new Honda Marine isn't letting up. And the cooked Penz Oil and the Honda Marine are are dead even in this race. And the Cook Penz Oil just crossed the finish line slightly ahead of Honda Marine. What a great comeback by Team Penz Oil for the win. I applied the rusting agent three times in the last 24 hours and the results are very close between the two brands. Both the Honda as well as the Penz Oil did very well in this test. However, the Penz Oil definitely seems to have a little bit more rust, especially the size and the intensity of the rust compared to the Honda. And the oil lab test results are back and it's very interesting. Honda Marine oil is on the left and Penz Oil is on the right. Molybdenum is an anti-wear additive and the Penz Oil has 71 parts per million compared to 37 for the Honda Marine. Boron is a detergent dispersant additive and the Penz Oil has 209 parts per million compared to only two for the Honda Marine. Calcium is also a detergent dispersant additive and the Honda Marine has more than twice as much at 1,819 compared to 863 for the Penz Oil. Magnesium is also a detergent dispersant and the Penz Oil has the advantage at 613 parts per million compared to only 11 for the Honda. So the detergent dispersant additive packages are fairly even between the two oils. The Honda Marine did slightly better on the lubricity test and it makes sense when you look at the anti-wear additive package. The Honda Marine has 1,039 parts per million phosphorus and 557 for the Penz Oil. Honda Marine also has 1,203 parts per million zinc compared to 619 parts per million for the Penz Oil. Unfortunately, the Honda Marine has just a little too much zinc and phosphorus for a modern vehicle with a catalytic converter. The high zinc levels are likely to cause problems. Honda Marine has a slightly higher viscosity compared to the Penz Oil. Honda Marine claims to be designed to handle high RPM, high load conditions, which usually means high heat. Unfortunately, the flash point for the Honda Marine oil is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Penz oil did quite a bit better at 460. The total base number of an oil is the oil's ability to resist becoming acidic over time. And Penz oil has a slightly higher total base number at 6.5 compared to 5.9 for the Honda Marine. So back to the original question, should you stick with oil that's designed for a car or should you switch over to marine oil? In my opinion, stick with the oil that's designed for a car. Unfortunately, the marine oil just did not perform very well compared to the oil that's designed for a car. However, the biggest advantage for the marine oil is the additive package for anti-wear. 
It does have a lot of zinc and phosphorus. However, in a modern car, you definitely don't want to have too much phosphorus and zinc because that'll cause a problem with the catalytic converter. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.